So the latest version of Evolution X OS has been released. This one is 11.3 and as expectedly, we are getting this new update as soon as we have a new security patch. This is based on the latest security patch October. And yes, even if you are looking forward to that QPR1 update, it's quite unfortunate that it's not available yet. Google, I mean, it is, we do not have any update regarding QPR1 from some time. So don't know if we see something or not for now. We have no QPR1 release, which means it's based on the normal security patch, latest Android version, Android 16, which are the things available with this new update. No major updates actually with this one. This is just a security patch update with minor fixes and so on. But Evolution XOS still brings you some good things. For example, if you move on to play integrity, we are getting some issues with play integrity. But for now, right now, while making this video in 11.3 with October security patch official version for Poco F5, no issues with play integrity at all. We have all these green ticks available in this case. And same goes with bootloader spoofing. As you can see, bootloader is locked, so no issues here at all. One thing let me show you, if you move on to Evolver Options, Miscellaneous, Component Spoofing, you will notice one feature, Disable Forcing Strong Integrity. Now you can simply enable this option if you don't need strong integrity for any chance, by any chance, for any reason. If you don't want that, you can disable that. By default, it's available. It's actually enabled three green ticks, but if you don't need that, you can disable it. So that is a very useful thing for some of the users. Other than else, other spoofing options, kind of same. Google Photos, unlimited backup, and also normal pixel props, spoofing game, game props, and so on. All these things are available in this case already. So you can go and explore that. Some of the other things like no storage restrict, also have the option for application downgrade, ignore window secure flags, all the security bypass features are also present. So definitely quite worth it. Also in system haptics option, you will find edge scrolling haptics intensity. That is a very useful thing. So you can adjust the intensity of haptics in case you use haptic feedback on your devices, then this might be useful for you. Other than else, things are same. One thing which I was looking forward to from a long time is uh, Evolution X OS launcher that was available with Android, even Android 15, I guess it was there with Android 14, not so sure about Android 15. But we do not have any update regarding that. We have Pixel Launcher and also the Quick Settings panel. Quite simple, quite minimal, normal one with the new brightness slider and so on. BCR named as Basic Core Recorder. It is already enabled in this case by default available. You don't need to root your device. It's already integrated in system as we have Google Dialer pre-installed. So it is very useful. It is quite handy if you want to do call recording. Other than else, we have theming options, which brings you the option to customize the icon shapes and so on. Also have the option to customize the boot animation. If you're not satisfied with the default boot animation, you can change it. If you move on to lock screen options, we do not have the lock screen clock styles available in this case, but we still have other minor basic features available here and there, which you can enable or disable. If you move on to status bar options, some of the things which were present in some different menus are now available in status bar tuner. So you can enable or disable the VoLT, Wi-Fi icon. You can also disable the data disabled indicator. If you move on to clock and date, you will see this background chip option. And also remember one thing, if something is not working well for you by enabling something in this case, of course, what you can do is simply move on to restart and click system UI restart. If something is not working well for you, it's better try to restart system UI. Sometimes some things does not work. so. Simply restarting system UI will solve your issue. So it's a, not a big deal. It's not a bug. It's a very basic thing. Sometimes we forgot about that. So that is why you have to keep this thing in your mind. Quick settings panel have minor tweaks available as you already know. We have some minor tweaks related to quick settings panel tile shapes, brightness slider things, and some other things regarding this one. If you change this tile shape to circle or whatever you want to do, you can adjust it. We also have the option for quick settings on lock screen. So if you need quick settings on your secure lock screen, it's completely optional. Other than else, notification options kind of same and many, many more things. If you want to check this out, you can. This is it. These were things just wanted to let you know. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, I will see you in the next one. Make sure to drop a like. We'll see you in the next one.